Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing Bong's Revenge, and the uh, last time... I'm gonna be real. Replaying through the game was actually pretty fun. Like, I enjoyed myself a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, it's It turns out it's a really fun game, especially once you get a hang of how the game works. Uh, well, it was fruitful. Okay, so the plan here is hopefully I can beat the game with the little bit of resources I have got. Since I'm full, I should probably do the aquatic tunnel first, because that's the one with the sketchiest healing and the boss that's most likely to cause me trouble. So yeah, I think that, from what I've gathered, it says that inside these, there, you got the expectation that sometimes there's gonna be hearts in them, but I swear, every every time I ran through this level, I did not encounter nearly anything in terms of healing in these. So like, I just, I don't get it. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna try and keep crab mode lasting, because it is armor. Alright, see? And now I lost it. And now I've lost a ton of health already. Alright, I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah, like, how did I lose so much health so quickly? Like, one heart and, like, almost two hearts. That seems a little excessive. Alright, so I'm taking my time-ish. Uh, I could have taken more of my time, but, uh, you know, things happen sometimes. Alright, so, yeah, don't bot me, please, Mr. Mine. Take your time to destroy every enemy that you encounter. That is how this game works. And is how it expects that you will play. To try to force the game to be something else. will just end in tragedy. Yeah, when you shake him, you don't kill him. I mean, you're still gonna be around. Look at that, it's too hard. So it's like, I don't know, like, I feel like I didn't necessarily play wrong either. It's just, that's... That's the cost of piranhas, I guess. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be safe here. Very, very strange area. Like nothing. There's nothing in those. I mean, maybe it's because they're in these and the little squares instead. And like, as a crab, like, how do you deal with these piranhas? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be real. Like, I just don't know. Like, I tried to bop you there, but you grabbed- you just nabbed me anyways. So, you know, very rude. Oh, I heard a little. I think I got- maybe I just touched the fish, though. Look, I'm gonna keep bopping these, just in case. But, I just- I don't believe it, you know? That's just a thing. No, I did get, like, a tiny piece of heart there. Back. It's so weird. Crab, stay dormant, all right? Do not acknowledge me in any way. That is the opposite of what I asked for, by the way. That's fine. You know what? You're gonna do what you're gonna do. And this is why we do... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm glad I've missed somehow. This is why... Uh, uh, there you go. This is why we do the Aqua Tunnel first. Basically. Like I'm, again, there's no reason now to try and shatter all these ice cubes, just in case, but... Like, unless there's a very specific way you have to destroy things to get the prizes with them, but I, I don't think that's a thing. Very weird. And you know what? If I die, it's fine. It's okay. Because one of the level does have a big heart. There's like one of them, but it does exist. So... Alright, time to get annoyed. As I do damage... Like, there I tried to jump on the leg, and uh, I don't know, I feel like she just retracted it early. Like, there's just... This is just this boss fight. It's very, very odd. Hey, look at that. Free hit. Well, not a free hit, but a hit where I was not damaged. It's pretty good. Alright, cotton balls flying. Yeah, like, 
the correct strat is to just not not interact at this point. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's just how it be. There we go. Alright, I wasn't sure if I was gonna land on a cotton ball. Yeah, so the addition, well, the removal of the ramps on both sides, like, these, that completely changes the fight for the worse. Like, just unambiguously. Because with the ramps, you can get a hidden every single time. So I think that's why I was so confused on my first time with the rematch here. It's like I was wondering why I couldn't be attacking more often. So Ambush is the one with the big heart. Like, I'm trying to see what I want to do. I think I want to try and do this. This one. Conveyor. Because this one also has healing. Oh, that's Ambush. Except I got mixed up. Alright, I got them mixed up. I forgot which one was which, so... But that's fine. Like, I feel like that's what you want to do. You want to alternate... Um, the one on the left and the one on the right. This is what feels correct to me. Okay, I can get these burgers, but it's not going to be very helpful. I can get these fries too, but again, not going to be helpful. Speed. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I cannot benefit from that. It just, it just gives me points. I have the most amount of hearts that would fit in my ribcage. You know what? You gotta respect that. Walk against the elephant's foot. That's what it's all about. Here we just kind of give you fruit. Uh, it's pretty nice of you, actually. I right, be careful, big ol' uh, stigadon. Oh yeah, these, these spines, these solar panels are having a time. I get juggled a little bit, it happens. Oh, I touched the, the ceiling. You don't want to do that. It's just kind of weirdly hard, actually. Alright, can I make it to the big heart before I die? I don't know. If a ghost just appears in my face like that, that kind of limits my options. There's a big heart. So you know what? Maybe my timing here was perfect, it turns out. Big spin! Get healed! And that's the whole thing. Yeah, no, that I would say that was kind of the ideal way this could have gone. Ugh, this boss, though. You are made easier with this arena because there's no more... ...spikes on the floor. Except I don't know how to fight you. Yeah, and I'm losing, like, all my health, so this is going very bad. Why am I... I don't understand why... No, no, no okay, alright, I don't know, man. That was a mess. That was a jumble. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do now is do... Uh, the one over here, that's the cave. There's a little bit of food, but it's the first boss, so it should go pretty okay. And, like, at some point, I kind of realized that, really, my lives are just extra sets of three hearts each. Like, at some point. Especially once we're done with, um, the, the, the Moon Pyramid itself. But, I mean, that's fine. Like, it's still very good to have. Like, it gives me, like, several, uh, like... So I've got, like, what, eight? went bad, this went bad. So if I got eight, so yeah, like, two lives is like one full of my current life, so, you know, see things like that, and, uh, I thought I despawned you. I did not. That was a lie. A fabrication. Alright, I missed time there. It's the jump didn't jump! It happens. Get out of here, wizard. I don't want you here. Maybe that's true. Okay, I missed time there. On, that's on me. Wizard, I have to bop you because you are in the way. Alright, I want it. I'm just taking all the damage. Eh, get out of here, buddy. I mean, I still got hmm, more health than I started going here. Really, what else can you ask for? Open up! Open up, lizard face! Off we go. Yeah, this is the first boss. 
Again, this is an easier version because there's no lava in the middle of the floor. So, like, embarking and disbarking on him is, like, trivial, and yet I still managed to get hurt. Like, I should not be taking any damage at all during this fight, but... Here we go. Here we are. It's gonna happen, and that's okay. I feel like a, a, a boss fight... Uh, okay, I'm not punished. Uh, j jump, there we go. I almost kinda, like, didn't jump. It's the hardest thing, I feel like, it takes to get uh, used to this game to me. The, the controls are very stiff. The controls are made such that, like... You are expected to commit to whatever it is you want to do. You cannot really change your mind mid-action. Which, you know, is something games for decades now have been very good. So what I'm saying about, like, just kind of letting you change your mind, so I guess what I'm saying is that Bong is the Dark Souls of video games. A lot more so than uh, Clifford the Dog, also known as Cuphead, which is a game that just kind of lets you do whatever you want at all times. I just stood there on a- Oh yeah, I gotta be careful, you can get conveyor death. And it's super frustrating and annoying. I hate computer death. Computer death? Well, that yeah, I kind of not a fan of that, but conveyor death is even worse. All right, let's get in there. Let's get that heart. Yeah, there's hearts here, but like not like a big heart, right? I think that's a thing. That's fine. It's okay if I. Oh, see, in these boxes you can have food sometimes, so I am incentivized into destroying as much as I can. Like I feel like that's what the ice is trying to be—the ice blocks. There's just never anything instead. I don't know if there's like a rule, like maybe it's because there needs to be like room for the for the food to fly off or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm a crab now, and that's good because that's gonna let us get additional resources. That's right, including this extra heart that I'm not gonna be able to use. But a lot of food and a one-up. So, you know, add that to the list. There we go. Hey, one up. More importantly, we got a whole salad bar on there, and that is beautiful. Ah, uh, razor root. Won't do much, but you can say you've done it. Alright, so I don't think crab can be pinched, or maybe I'm an idiot, and I just think things that are not true. Let's not take any chances. Raise it! Yeah, there's nothing the crab can do against you. What's up with that? Alright, so, yeah. These conveyors are gonna be safe. Alright, that I feel like I didn't need to get hurt there, but I did. I'm having issues figuring out, like, my approach. Like, how am I gonna get closer to this man? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, cool, yeah, here you can get hurt, so don't get hurt. But there's more food and another life, which obviously we want to get our hands on. Beautiful! And yeah, if you game over, you continue here, it's gonna get you to f get you two extra lives and that five heart, which is honestly not bad. I don't know what the game expects me to mash to get out of that situation. Mashing both jump and stuff. But yeah, here it gives you a fly beam for some reason. Like, I don't know how I would use that here. Right, I'm just gonna sit here and agree. Alright, reward for agreeing. You know, if you if you wanna fly, uh now is your chance, I guess. Alright, I have to destroy these in case there's more food. Except that's a score food, it's not a healing food. Now that hamburger is flying. The perfectest burger the world has never conceived of. Alright. Oh you got it, you got it, you gotta mash. See there I got rewarded. It's just so slow. It's just like not a envious process. Envious? Not the right word. Whoops, I accidentally double tapped. No, I remember this part being like the worst when I was playing here the first time. Mm. So you're dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, please. And you're like army of homing bubbles. Like, what even is that? Why are they homing? What does that mean? You do not have an answer to give me, and I find that frustrating. But hey, check it out! I'm now fire guy. I set fire to things. Look at that, whoosh. 
Now you, I, I set you on red. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm so mad now! Look at that! Double O! But, like, it's so funny to me that you're so mad. Okay, no, you can destroy all of these. Alright, I really want those, though. Oh, hi. So we get all of this. It's pretty good. Okay, so, Rhubarb Pie, the pirate. You. You are significantly easier here, because you do not have room to stand in the normal fight. It's water, and, like, and you're at a different, like, height. So timing this is a lot harder. So you can do an earthquake. Oh, and it does hurt you. Oh, we're gonna be doing this? Alright, well now I can stun you. So I got the free damage a few times, that's pretty good. And then I just kind of stood there. Okay, well I got- yeah, he's just hard. Like, I just- I do not understand his fight either. So we will not be going into the finale, like, with like, a lot of health it turns out. You know what? Like, that could be worse. No, I should have not ended with here. Yeah, you cannot stand on these. I just keep thinking I want to stand. No. This is going terribly. Okay, well, that's why I got lives. That is why I got lives. He's got a little happy face on his, on his hat and everything. Oh man, so there, okay, so... That's the place you hit him so that you can hit him without taking damage. It's like, kind of really in front of him. In a kind of uncomfortable way. Being real. So your fight is gonna be harder because there's these little crenellation on the floor. So it's harder to just kind of like walk. So I'm gonna have to hop it and keep to a beat. That's fine. I, it's okay if I die fighting you. I've got my flawless revenge on you, you know, so... Yeah, but you throw out more hands, it looks like, too, and... Whoops! Yeah, no, okay. Uh, Alright, not too punished. I mean, punished with, like, full health loss, but still. Could be worse. What? Oh, okay, so that that was on me. That is my mistake. I did a bad. There you go. So you're dead. So I lost a life. That's fine. So I've got 17 sets of three hearts, basically. The fight rule. I don't know what he does, though. I know that he is going to run across the room. Oh, he does like... Okay. That's uh, the ballerina's attack. And then he's going to slide here. With all his movement frames. And I'm gonna... I took damage. I don't know if he took damage. Oh, he's just as frustrating in the first game. Great. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. so I think that's what he does. He mimics the full screen attack of the other bosses. So he might also do... Oh boy! Uh... So he might also do... Um... Meteor Volcano things. Yeah. And, uh, what's the ballerina? Ballerina's the ice. The missiles. I don't know what, uh... Yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't even know if I heard him. And this is just kind of... Weirdly slow and meaningless. This is a really weird game sometimes. Like, I'm pretty confident I did damage. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is not the way to go. Uh huh. I love how he moves his little wand, though. You know, they managed to fit a little bit of anime. I mean, but you look at him and, like, it's kind of hard to make any sort of animation with, like, that large of- How do you not get damage? Like that! Okay, I need to hit lower. Easier, like, really on the tip of the snoot, and that's gonna let me bounce on his crown. Alright, okay. Okay. <sighs> Learning is painful in the world of Bong. Symbolizing how... Cavemen had to really suffer 
to gain all this advanced knowledge we all have about the universe, you know? Like, electricity, weasels, all of that. Socks. You know, all very painful lessons that our ancestors had to learn. Wait, there he flashed. I hope I was doing damage before, because that was very clearly damage. Unlike the other times, but it made the same sound. Maybe it's because he's getting weaker? Maybe. It's our only hope. Wow, no, yeah, there is a possibility that I... have not actually been doing damage all this time, but it's okay! That's why we have lives. I mean, that's not why we have lives, but oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't make much of a difference considering how much damage he does to me. Like, I'm pressing pause because I'm ready to wake up, right? Yeah, see there, the crown didn't fly. Oh boy, okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Like, I understand, I just don't really have, you know, the chance to practice. Alright, I got some hits in. Oh boy. Yeah, second boss just does not have a room attack, and I don't know if he realizes how nothing the missile attack is. It's nothing! Nothing happens! See, like, I need to wake up. Then I want to, but then I I can't like get to him in time, so it's just a lot of time is being lost. Okay, all right, that's fine. Keep spending your time doing absolutely nothing, King Drool. This is kind of a weird nothing fight. It's not it's not the game at its best. Whoa, I managed to like go right through him this time. Yeah, I won. He lost his irises and he's leaking. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh well, well, I was all right. He'll be back. He's huge. He's very big. And now we've conquered the other half of the moon, the top half. Uh, we did. Yeah, the pyramids and inverted pyramids. It's really cool. Like it's a really cool design. Yo, check it out. We are gonna combine and form a single. Well, yeah, watch out, princess. That. I feel like the shapes got smaller that, but that's okay. Check it out, he's here now. He popped out of a crater. Oh, we're gonna destroy the tides. Uh, here we go. That's our project. I'm glad the moon is. Am I supposed to press a bun? Oh, full once again! My own face! <laughs> when you speak, is your own face in your speech bubble? I don't think it should be, but I mean, I don't know. Royalty will do what they want. Oh, it's the second time! At the end of every game! This game is good. This game is really good. It's very clear that Bong the First... Why are you so sad? Uh, is... Uh, oh, why are you so mad? <laughs> like, the game... First... Oh, I think it's just his nose. First game felt like a prototype. And this is like the real game they did. I mean, not to say that Bong's adventure is bad. Oh, you're dreamworking. Before dreamworking was a thing, huh? Alright. But yeah, this game was a lot of fun. It's really good. And I say, you know, I would... I'm glad I got to re-experience the game with more knowledge. Because I feel like the game is a lot more fun when you know how things work. So I feel like I got to appreciate the game better because of the second playthrough. Like, I'm not saying it's something I'd want to happen with every single game that I play. In fact, I think the opposite. But if, if it was going to happen to a game, this is the right one to happen. I'm very happy about it. So the last time, I don't think we got like actual credits. Last time we got like an enemy staff roll. Well, instead we got dot art instead of sprite art, I'm guessing that's what that means. That's a funny way to... I guess maybe that is how you could translate the Japanese word for pixel art. Dot art? Well, what are pixels if not square dots? that are tiny and compose the DNA of everything you see on the screen. Whether it be a phone or a computer, or I guess a TV, maybe. Is it pixels? I don't think it's... maybe. Like, on LCD screen would be. 
but like a CRT, like, I don't think it's called Pixels, but I don't know what it's called. But sound Composer H. Takayama, I like the music. The game is really jumpy, it's really pumpy, it's really fun. Whoa, whoa, very awkward dance, just kind of shuffling now around to the side. We have to make more room for these names. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I like the ending of the first game more. Like, this is... This dancing, still hopping around. Booga! Is, uh... Is not as entertaining as perhaps the developers were hoping for. But then we got a Booga, so it's all good. 1991! Red! Wait, were both games released in 1991? I don't know. Well, there we go. Goodbye. Next time, uh, uh, no intermissions. We're just hopping into Bonk 3. Yeah, the yeah, end for now. Bonk 3 next time. Like I said, no intermission. And we're going to be playing on the Turbo Graphic 16 CD. That's right. Compact disc technology. Oh, then they repeat it. Okay. Sure.